Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be teaching you how to get the Storm GDPS on Windows, PC, whatever. I think it works on Mac, I'm not sure if it does. So just letting you know this is mainly for Windows players. But if you have a Mac, feel free to try this out too. So, the first thing you actually have to do while doing this is you have to open up Google Chrome and download the file right here. It'll be in the description below, so go ahead and click that link. It'll send you here, and then simply download my file. Here it is, this storm.zip. Wait for that to load. While that's waiting, just, um, what I would do is, you could do anything you want, but what I would do first is to create a new folder, storm. You can name it whatever you want, but I'd say just name it storm for now. Because um, this is where we're going to be having our main files. And um, I have a few different chapters to this video showing you different things you can do. And I even have a way to make it easier to start up. Such as having a shortcut right here. I'm going to put a shortcut right here. And um, pin it here in my quick bar. So if you would like to see how to do that, um, once you have the download, just stick around till the end of the video. Okay, now the download is almost complete. So, um, remember this video is... Okay, hold on, let's get this up. This video is just showing you the most convenient way to set this all up. So now you can move that from your downloads to your desktop. Boom. You got this. Now, we don't need that anymore. So now, you can right-click and press Extract All. And it'll extract it all to the storm file. Okay, so now, once you've extracted that file, you can now get rid of the uh, zip file, as I just did. Uh, you didn't see it, but uh, I got rid of the zip file. And then what you could just do is open the storm folder. Now, you may be wondering what this is right here. It's a cursor for a shortcut. And I'll show you guys how to do that later, as in right now. So you could literally just start up the game right now and ignore that. Um, here you go. I'm already logged in, so I'll log out to show you guys how to do this. Um, so first thing you want to do, though, is send to desktop create shortcut. So what you're doing is you're creating a shortcut for this application. So now we can just work with this. So now I'm going to rename it to just storm cuz it um it won't mind about it won't mind the file because of storm.exe and storm file. Those uh, are different. But um anyway, go to storm, right click on storm. Uh oh. Eh, <laughs> never mind. And press properties. Press change icon. And then you can browse this file and press all files. Now right here is cursor which works with this um, file. It, it normally wouldn't work but surprisingly it does. I, I expected it not to work because it's a cursor file but it does. So now you see right here the S, the storm, you launch it and boom. You load the GDPS with all the levels. So far I only have uh, this welcome level. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind the likes. But um... Still working on the server and... You guys can join and create an account if you'd like. So, I'm gonna show you how to create an account because people actually don't know how to create an account. Or at least most people that I meet don't know how to make an account, so... Uh, I'll cut right back to you when I've logged out. Okay, <clears throat> so... Now that I've logged out, I'm gonna teach you how to make an account. Now, you could you have to keep this storm file somewhere. Um, I'm gonna put it inside this GDPS file right here. And, um... Those are where I keep all my GDPS. Uh, you know what, let's just... You know, let's just cancel that. I'll do that later. 
but you have to keep this somewhere. It doesn't matter where, as long as it's not in the app data. You can't keep it in the app data. That's the only place you can't keep it. You can keep it anywhere else, but not app data. So do keep that in mind. But um, I would just leave this on my desktop for now. You can put it anywhere, but I would say leave it on your desktop. So um, open to storm. So now that I logged out, I'm going to show you how to create an account. Now, first off, you need to go to the settings tab at the bottom, press account, and then press register. Some people press login because they think it's like, no, that's, no. <laughs> so, just name yourself anything. Test account. Nope. Test ACC. There we go. Test account 101. Why not? I'm just gonna go for a completely random name. So test account 101. You can make any password. Um, so you just have to type the same thing right here. So you put any password you want, type it in right here, and then boom. Now email. For the email, you, you can literally put anything. You could do butterface15 at, heck, let, let's go wild. Why not? At out, <laughs> Outlook. <laughs> this is a joke. I'm, I'm just, I'm just joking with you guys. Don't worry. It can literally be anything though, so I'm just gonna go with butterface15 at outlook.com and then test ACC 101, submit. So now it's been account. So now press login, test ACC 101, test account 101. So now just type the uh, password you previously you used and then boom, you have now created an account. Now, if you guys, if you guys become part of the Storm Clan, which is on my Discord server, there are many different ways to get into it, and I'm not gonna explain how to get into the Storm Clan this server or like this video, but this is just all, all the basics. So you know, you can go ahead and create a level if you want to, play an online level play the real levels why not and um yeah have fun and if you make a good level you have a very good chance of it be getting rated all you have to do is try that's all you have to do just try to make a good level and more likely more often than not it will get rated but Sunday I'm gonna leave for vacation so I'm not gonna be able to rate levels then until I get back but um once I get back the only reason I wouldn't rate it is if it's Tuesday or Wednesday because I'm not here on Tuesday and Wednesday but um I'm at my dad's house on Tuesdays and Wednesdays so I'm not able to <clears throat> do any of this but on any other day of the week I'm good so there you go that's how you make a storm account. That's how you get all this set up. This is the complete setup to, to storm. And once you get into the storm clan, you can actually get a moderator symbol right next to your account name. Like here, for example, you go to help. Request failed, nothing found. So um, what you have to do is I will message you if you're in the storm clan or if there's another reason for mo for making you a moderator but you can you can't officially rate levels you only send them to me i see what you think the level rating should be and then i'll make that rating but yeah you'll get a message from he me um and I i'll be able to moderate you once i message you saying that you've become mod all you have to do then is go to the account tab, press help, and press request, and then it'll tell you moderator access granted. If it says elder mod, most likely it's a bug, 
But once you refresh your page, you'll get the blue moderator symbol, which is a lot like mine. That's... I didn't even spell that right. Jeez, I can't type today. But as you see right here, the blue mod the blue moderator would be what the normal person would get. This is just the elder mod. So yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Otherwise, I'm going to eat all your Cheez-Its. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.